and welcome back. In today's video, we will talk about an important document of project management, which is the cash flow diagram. These diagrams help you in project planning, project execution, and project monitoring and controlling. In order to plan your costs comprehensively for the project, you need to have such a document. This is a fully dynamic project cash flow diagram. In the table here, we have the project schedule, the work packages, below the work packages there are the activities, then we have the start date for each activity. On the right table here, we have the resource assigned for each activity, the measuring units of each resource, the quantity that we need for the project, the unit cost of the resources, and the total cost. In order to prepare the project cash flow diagram, we have the cumulative cost at the end of the table. If you update any of the values, for example, the dates, the quantity of resources, the unit cost, the diagram will be updated as well. For example, let's say that we need three excavators and each one will cost us around 1000 US dollars. As you can see, the cash flow diagram got updated as well. When you have this document in hand for your project, you can plan and monitor your costs both effectively and efficiently. In today's video, I am going to show you how to prepare this diagram using Microsoft Excel. Now, in order to get started, you will have the list of your activities, their start date, the resource name, the resource unit, the quantity that you need, and the unit cost. We will calculate the total cost of each activity. In here, I will write down equal sign unit cost times quantity. I will select the cell and drag it up to the last activity. Since we have the cost for the activity level, the work package level is zero. I will delete the values in these cells. Next thing is to calculate the cumulative cost. For that one, I will write down sum from this cell up to the cell itself. The only difference is for the first one, I will lock both the row and the column and I'll close the parenthesis. Next thing is to drag it down. For the work package level, I'll remove the values. Once we have calculated our cumulative cost, we will have the total cost for the project. Besides that, we will have the cumulative cost over the life cycle of the project. Now the last thing in here is to plot the cash flow diagram. For that one, we will need the total cost for each date and the cumulative cost for each date. So for that one, we will need to select the dates, the total cost, and the cumulative cost. So once all the dates, the total cost, and the cumulative cost are selected, I'll go to Insert, and from here, I'll select a 2D column chart. In this chart, as you can see, both the total cost and cumulative cost are represented on the same vertical axis. And at the same time, the cumulative cost is also showed as columns. First, we will change the cumulative cost to a line. To do that, right-click on the cumulative cost column. We will go to Change Series Chart Type. From here, for the cumulative cost, we will select the secondary axis. Besides that, we will change this to a line and then click OK. Now, as you can see, our cumulative cost is represented as a line and it's plotted on the secondary axis. The values on this axis are for our total cost and the values of this axis are for our cumulative cost. Next thing is to change the names in the legend. To do that, we will right-click in the chart area Go to Select Data, and in here, as you can see, Series 1 and Series 2 are our series names. But we want to change these names. We'll click a date on Series 1. In the series name, I will select the total cost and click OK. For the second one, I will do the same thing. I'll click a date, and I'll select Cumulative Cost and click OK. I'll remove the chart title from here, and I will remove these lines from here. We can do the further formatting as we did in other charts in Microsoft Excel. So I won't talk about that. In here, if you update any of the values, for example, let's make the quantity of excavators 1. 
As you can see, the cost, the cumulative cost, and the charge will be updated. Besides that, let's update the number of steel bars to 4,500 kilograms. As you can see, the amount of money needed at that specific date is updated. And besides that, the curve for cumulative cost will change as well. So this is how you can prepare project cash flow diagrams in Microsoft Excel. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel, visit our Instagram and LinkedIn pages for more useful content. Thank you very much for watching.